Hey guys, I just thought I'd show you this. I'm about to donate this to a museum. So here's the fourth anniversary of the Airborne School, May 15th, 1946. So my grandfather was a captain in the 101st Airborne on D-Day. This isn't him, by the way, but the, I'm just showing you some original documents I have of his. I just found out about this a week ago. See, it says uh, Major John L. Strauss, basic training, division of the Airborne School. Fort Benning, Georgia, First Lieutenant Infantry, you have been nominated by the president. So stuff like this, you know, very original, I thought was really cool. They even have a Major Strauss, a little fourth anniversary book, The Airborne School. And this is all original stuff from him that one of my uh, uncles found. And here are the short snores. I didn't even know what these were called. So these were what they used to jump with on uh, out of the when they were airborne. So this is on D-Day, this is the original. Invasion jump, D-Day, June 6, 1944. See at the very top, John Lewis Strauss, John L. Strauss, that's my grandfather. Uh, thank you for your service, grandfather, and all the others thank them for their service as well. So this is like a thing for good luck, they would sign this before they would jump. And he survived World War II, he did. Uh, he retired as a first lieutenant or a lieutenant colonel, and he has them from other times, right? Which is even cooler. So all these uh, times that he jumped with, uh, you know, all these people, you know, entered Germany April fourth, nineteen forty-five. Uh, end of war May eighth. End of war Kempton, Germany, and they always kept them apparently really long. See, they're all connected. I don't know if that has some significance to it or not. But yeah, I'm donating these to a museum because they deserve to be seen by everyone. And I thought this is just so badass, honestly. This, it's hard, it's cool to see badass stuff like this that you know. But again, I didn't discover this till two weeks ago. He was a, he was a second generation immigrant from Croatia. His dad, my great grandfather, came over in early 1900s from Slovenia. So he spoke Croatian, fought for his country, departed Holland. See all these cool things. Oh yeah, he fought. He was in Bastogne too. Here's Bastogne, Bastogne, December 18th, 1944, National Bank. And these just go on and on and on. So yeah, I thought these were cool to see the actual original. Uh, he's obviously not here anymore. Uh, but, you know, I thought it was really cool. He wanted to be cremated. But I just thought it'd be a cool thing to show you guys. These are all original stuff. And he has some original photos he took while during World War II. They're really cool. But yeah, I just thought this would be cool to show you guys. Just the cool things from Ancestry you get to find out.